What is up guys? Welcome back to another segment of subscriber battles. Uh, good friend Sacred Galley hit us up on YouTube on the comment section. Let me know that he wanted to play against us. So uh, we're going back into the Anything Goes tier and I've got three new teams. One that I didn't get to show off from the last episode. If you did miss that, go back and check that out. Uh, but we have two new teams as well. One of them is a six dittos team. That's the one we're going to be uh, starting out with. We're going to challenge my opponent right away. See if he responds. Hopefully he does. And uh, we'll see how this works out. We have two choice scarfers on this one. Uh, Focus Sash, uh, Choice Specs, Choice Band, and the last one is Expert Belt. So I don't want to be locked into moves constantly, but uh, having four choice, user really, uh, choice users really puts a, a big dent in on... Uh, on your opponents so let's see if this works out hopefully it does uh, I'm not sure but having that focus sash turn one is also very nice uh, against other focus sash leads so let's see what my opponent is gonna bring to the table I'm actually just gonna pause it guys and we'll be right back with his side all right guys here we are and uh, my opponents brought a very threatening team looking uh Thanks. <laughs> what do you mean, thanks? Okay, anyway, um, he's got uh, pretty much an Uber's team. That's what it looks like. I hope he sets up with his Salamence so I can just sweep him with one of my Dittos. <laughs> that would be amazing. But uh, we're just going to lead off with the uh, Focus Sash variant as it leads off the best against him. He does pop out the Metagross here, uh, which does have Iron Defense and Flash Cannon. Okay. So my Dittos can't actually touch this thing, but I can PP stall it. And he can't really touch me either, so... Um... Let's see. What do we want to do here? Let's actually just go for the Psychic. Try to get some uh, some drops. See if we can manage that. And uh, we will start the timer on my opponent. Because I don't want to be here forever either. Um, doesn't look like we're going to be able to beat this Metagross with this team. Should have expected that. Uh, Metagross can't beat itself. And uh, he's got Iron Defense. So, Luckily, if he doesn't have left... Oh, okay. He's going to switch directly into Blaziken on a Psychic. Alright, cool. I'll take it. And... Uh, I think we're just going to switch into... No, we have no reason to switch. Let's just go for another Psychic. He's going to go for a Flamethrower. We're going to live with our Focus Sash. And we'll be able to take out this Blaziken. That Metagross is still going to be a, pro a problem, though. So, got to watch out for that. Um, hopefully, he starts setting up with something. If he could just set up with anything, it doesn't matter what. That'd be amazing. Uh, we're just going to go for a Flash Cannon here. If he wants to knock us out, that's fine. He's Arceus Dragon, though. So, he's actually going to give us an opportunity to bring in something. Okay, he's going to go for Double Team. That's fine. Uh, we can trace that evasion after, and as soon as we hit him, it's it's pretty much over. Just gonna go for uh, another flash cannon here. Hopefully, we'll be able to hit this one as we do not. Uh, but he's just giving me evasion boost too, so it's fine. Uh, he's gonna go up to a times two evasion. Just going to uh, keep flash cannoning here. He's gonna keep going for double team. We're actually gonna hit it this time, uh, and he doesn't. He is a RCS dragon, so he doesn't have any recovery uh, through leftovers, of course. Uh, he's just going to go for another double team. We're going to keep hitting him with this flash cannon. I'm just going to keep going until I sack this off, honestly. Uh, we'll just go for a psychic here. Uh, and we do land it. Awesome. And now he's sitting at 50%. And whenever we come in with something, we're going to have exactly the same evasion as this thing does. So it's going to come down to, uh, to whether or not we can dodge uh, before he does. So we're going to go into our choice specs variant. And we're going to go for a judgment. He has spatial rend on this as well. He's going to miss his judgment. And I'm going to miss mine. That's basically what this is going to be, guys, until I run out of judgments or he does. So uh, he actually has spatial rend as well, so he'll be able to hit us. He does go for the spatial rend uh, that does connect. Does that never miss or something? Uh, I can't check right now, but it's fine. We do hit the judgment. Unfortunately, we are not able to knock him out. Uh, not sure why. Isn't it dragon? Oh, no, we're not dragon. I should have gone for spatial rend. It's fine, though. We are able to take out the Arceus, luckily. And let's keep going. I think... We should be okay. Um, he's going to go into Kyogre. Again, yet another thing that I can just copy. Um, we'll just go for a Judgment here. He's probably faster than us. Well, maybe not because we are... Uh, yeah, he is faster than us. Okay. All right, we're going to get this Judgment off. Not too bad. I could even save this thing if I wanted to, but I'm just going to go for Struggle. And if he misses, then he misses. Uh, it's fine. He's going to go for an Earthquake and miss me. That's perfectly fine. We're going to get off some damage here. We're going to die to the Recoil. And now I think I'm going to go out into my Expert Belted Variant. And uh, we do speed tie with this thing once again. We do have the Thunder Wave, which is nice. I'm going to fire off a Thunder Wave, be able to paralyze this Kyogre, as he's going to do exactly the same. Now our Expert Belted variant is a little bit weaker, but I'll be able to throw out some Surfs right here. I think it's the strongest move that we have. It's Stab and it's in the rain, so he's going to go for an Ice Beam. It's not going to do too much. We are going to hit this Surf in the rain. going to try to go for another one right here. 
and uh, he doesn't have a very good switch. Uh, he's just gonna go for Earthquake. Uh, that's gonna do about as much as our Surfs. And with this thing paralyzed, I can come on in it uh, with another Ditto, so we're fine. We're gonna ju just uh, weaken this Kyogre a little bit more. We do have three choice variants left though, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. Hopefully we can win this speed tie, as we do not, unfortunately. But now I can go right out into my Ditto. We do keep the Heavy Rain up, I believe, because we are Primordial Sea as well. So we'll just go for a Surf right here. Actually, do I want to throw out an Ice Beam? No, because I don't want to get beaten by the uh, the Metagross, as we are going to be able to surf this thing and knock it clean out. Okay, so now we can spam Ice Beam if we want to. And he can't set up with his, uh, with his Salamence. So I might want to switch here, actually, just so that I can get that Ice Beam on lock. Um, but if he's Mewtwo X, I'd rather have the Choice Bandit variant. I think either way, I want to have the Choice Scarf variants the most. So I'm going to switch out uh, into my Ditto. Hopefully he gets full parad. He does. Awesome. So we'll be able to throw out an Ice Beam here, be able to knock out this Kyogre. And now being locked into Ice Beam means that we will be able to knock out the Salamence as well. And uh, if the Mewtwo is, of course, set up, then we're fine as well. Uh, we're just going to go for another Ice Beam here. He might be Mega. He won't be able to knock us out, though, I don't think. We are only 300 HP, but I still think we should be able to live one, uh, one return. He's just going to let his uh, Salamence go down right there. Awesome. Ditto, Ditto Squad, coming in, coming in hot, man. This is good. All right, we still have our Choice Scarf Ditto in the back as well, so that's all good. We should be good to go, uh, depending on what kind of uh, Mewtwo variant this is. He does go for the Energy Ball. That's going to do under half, as we're going to be able to uh, Ice Beam this Mewtwo. A and again, hopefully, unless he gets a roll, uh, as he does not, and we're able to Ice Beam him. And it doesn't matter if he knocks us out here, because we were in struggle anyway, so this is fine. Hopefully he doesn't have recover, that could be a little bit annoying. We're going to see what the rest of his set is right here by going into our Choice Scarf Ditto. And get the pressure up, and he has Ice Beam, Psycho Cut. What's the strongest move I can hit him with? Probably Ice Beam, right? He does have recover though. Uh, as we do hit the Ice Beam and we crit it, so that's going to be GG. Let's go to game two. Go to game two. And these teams are a little more serious now, so uh, I can't really avoid uh, if I win. Or not, so uh, let me just uh, bring back up the challenge window. So it's Matt, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, as he actually did that for me, so that's nice of him. We'll do challenge to a an anything goes game. And now we're going to be using the team that we didn't get a chance to use on the last episode. It's going to be Geopass Mega Ray. So this team was uh, inspired by one of the subhub episodes that uh, Joey and Envy did together. Uh, when they did Anything Goes, and it's exactly the same sets on Mega Ray and uh, on Smeargle. Smeargle has a Protect Fake Out uh, Geomancy set to be able to baton pass that off into either Aegislash or Mega Rayquaza, and then from there it's pretty much just Clean City. Uh, you just clean up any team, so. My opponent brings his own Mega Rayquaza, alright, cool, so now we're, uh, now we're a little bit, oh well, it could be Mega Mewtwo or Mega Aggron or Mega Glade, it could be Mega Lucario, Mega Ch He's got six Megas, basically, guys. <laughs> My opponent brought six Megas. So, I see uh, Rotom being probably our most solid lead here, as he does lead off with Lucario. We're gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp here, and regardless if we win or not, we're gonna bring this to three games so that you guys aren't spoiled um, by the amount of time on the video, basically. So, let's see what my opponent wants to do in face of a, a Rotom Wash, a defensive Rotom Wash. Uh, he might be special, Lucario. That would be a little bit of an issue, but I think Mamoswine just comes in and, and beats everything. He's going to go for the E-Speed. We are going to get this Will-O-Wisp off. Awesome. So this thing is weakened, uh, and we're going to be able to go for a Volt Switch right here. If he close combats, it won't do too much, luckily, because we are a defensive variant. He goes to the Home Claws, actually. All right. Uh, we're going to get off this Volt Switch right here, and I think... Um, I don't want to really go into Smeargle because he could have Inner Focus. That could be very dangerous. Um... I think my play is just to go into Mamoswine and actually get my rocks up at this point. Uh, we are slower than, than this thing, but it shouldn't be able to... Well, it could knock me out. Yeah, it could bring me down to my Sash. We're actually uh, faster. Okay, cool. He's going to go for the close combat. Uh, he's going to take the burn damage right there. I kind of want to keep Mamoswine specifically for the Mega Rayquaza, if it is Mega, of course, in case it doesn't have E-Speed. So what I'm actually going to do is just switch on an Aegislash on, oh, Aegislash, excuse me, on his E-Speed. He won't be able to hit us. And then we'll be able to go for a... Uh, I kind of want a King Shield just to find out what he's going to do first. And then we'll go for the uh, Shadow Ball on the following turn. He's actually just going to switch hard into Mega Rayquaza. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to throw out a Shadow Ball here, see how much it does. Uh, he should be faster than us, in theory. Well, yeah, he definitely should be, but we're max speed uh, Aegislash, actually. 
Uh, so we are faster. Wow. Okay. Gonna get off a lot of damage on this Rayquaza as he is going to go for the Ice Beam. That's not gonna do too much to us, unfortunately, for him. And I can just throw out another Shadow Ball now, now that I know I'm faster. And now we can sack off Mamoswine to pretty much anything because I don't really need it anymore. Uh, I guess it's okay for the Aggron. I'm assuming he's Mega Charizard because you wouldn't bring a Charizard to this kind of game. His name is Sacred Glade, so it could also be that. But uh, he's just going to switch hard into his Charizard on my Shadow Ball. Okay, that's fine. Let's his uh, Charizard go down. His Rayquaza also goes down to rocks. Uh, and his Lucario goes down to rocks plus burn. It should, anyway. Because uh, it says 19%, but it should be a little bit lower. I think I'm just going to uh, sack off Mamoswine here. It's probably the best play. And uh, then I think I want to just end this game with uh, Geomancy Pass. Let's see, he goes for Psychic, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go into Smeargle hard. We're going to uh, go for the Fake Out. We are Moody, so we have a chance of getting some raises uh, on the Spadef side, which would be awesome. Uh, so he's going to get flinched from the Fake Out. We're going to get a, a special attack raise, not really what I was looking for. Uh, an attack lowering. We're going to go for Protect to see if we can get the speed. As he's going to go for Ice Beam. I don't think Ice Beam is going to be able to knock us out. We do get the ev Evasion, actually. And now I'm going to Geomancy. Uh, he's going to miss his Ice Beam, very unfortunate. Uh, but we're gonna get all these boosts and what this means is that I can pass directly into my uh, Age of Slash and just win this game now. So we're gonna go for the baton pass. We're gonna pass this out into Age of Slash. No move he can go for is gonna hit me too hard unless he freezes us, which he does not and we will go for the Shadow Ball. We are now 480 speed Age of Slash. I bet you've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. This is gonna do a lot, man. We were just in uh, shield form. I want to see what my special attack is in blade form. We only have uh, three more hits off, but that should be fine. We have to 1,008 special attack right now. His ray dies to um, to the uh, to the rocks anyway, so we should be good to go to sweep with this. Uh, and Shadow Ball should be able to take out his Mega Aggron, if that's what his Mega is. Should be able to easily knock out the Gallade. Against the Gallade, I might actually just go for a uh, King Shield. Uh, okay. He's asking if we can do a metronome battle next. Uh, another day would be fine. <laughs> but uh, right now we're just going to stick to this. I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball. This is going to do a lot. It's going to easily knock this thing out, honestly. Uh, I did say I might want to um, King Shield in case he's Shadow Sneak. Would probably be the play. No, I think we just Shadow Ball. There's no way he's Shadow Sneak. Yeah, alright, there we go. There's Galilee gone. And now the other two should go down relatively easily. Uh, I'll King Shield on the uh, Lucario just because... Okay, no, it doesn't go down to Burn Plus Rocks. What am I saying? Uh, but he can't E-Speed us anyway, so I'll just go for Shadow Ball in this as well. And that should be GG. Uh, I don't know if my opponent wants to get a Game 3. I kind of do uh, with another team that I picked up on a... Uh, I definitely do, uh, just so that you guys aren't spoiled once again. And uh, also because I picked up a team on, I don't know where, but I got a, a random team. It's got two RCS forms, it's really cool. I uh, wanna do a game three. We crit that, I don't think that really mattered. He was Mega Aggron, it's kind of what I, I either expected Mega Charizard or Mega Aggron, to be honest. But uh, let's see if our opponent wants to do a game three, as he does, awesome, okay. And so we'll do that, we will challenge and get anything goes. And now we go with the tryhard squad. So I haven't actually tested this team out yet, uh, but it can definitely uh, put in some work. You guys saw some of the Pokemon that were in there. So let's uh, let's see. I'm going to pause it one more time, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> when two Arceus forms isn't enough, <laughs> my opponent decided to bring six. <laughs> Yo, this is going to be tough. Uh, I don't have foul play either on the Veltal, so that could be a problem. Mewtwo X looking pretty good. It is faster than... Uh, and then Arceus, so I think I'm going to lead off with Mewtwo X, as he is Arceus normal, so we'll be able to go straight for that Drain Punch right here, and be able to put in a lot of damage on this thing. Uh, I don't think I have any form of priority, I might have E-Speed, we'll see, but uh, this Drain Punch is not going to be able to take out this Arceus. He's going to go for Hidden Power, it's going to be super effective, uh, I don't know what kind of Hidden Power that was, but it didn't do much at all. Uh, we do have a, a sizable amount of special defense, but we are able to knock out this Arceus, and Mewtwo X looking like it's going to put in, oh yeah, a lot of work. I'm actually going to go for a bulk up right here, uh, because I'll be able to take a Shadow Claw if he has that. He actually just has another Hidden Power. That doesn't do much at all. And now Drain Punch should, in theory, be able to straight knock out. Okay, well, we're missing a little bit of, uh, of damage right there. Are we? Why did I just take damage? Oh, because we, oh, we were faster. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Of course we're faster. Um, but Ice Punch will be able to pick off this Arceus, and I calc'd 
uh, from the first Drain Punch uh, at the beginning of the game that did 65. Oh yeah, so maybe it is a roll. I think it's always a roll. We'll just go for another bulk up here, be able to, to knock out all of his Arceus forms. He's actually going to go for Shadow Force, so it's a good thing we uh, we bulked up a couple of times because he did have a, uh, an Arceus with Shadow Force. This is going to do a little bit of damage. It's going to do 24%, not enough. Uh, we're just going to Drain Punch again. I'm surprised he doesn't have uh, different Arceus forms. It's just all normal. But Mewtwo X is going to be able to come in. You guys aren't even going to get to see the uh, the Primal Groudons and the Arceus forms on my side. That's very unfortunate. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make this interesting. Do we have... Uh, we have a Ground. We have a Steel... We have two Primal Dawns, and we have an Evaltal. Nah, you know what, let's, ju let's just finish this up quick. Let's kill this Arceus. I might switch out on the last one, we'll see. But this is looking like a clean Mewtwo X sweep. Uh, even six Arceus can't stop Mewtwo X, man. Mega Megas are so broken, I'm, I'm so glad. Well, they're not going away in Sun and Moon, but I think there's gonna be a lot less of a focus on them, so that's kinda nice. Uh, this is a terrible team. Should have brought different forms. GG, man. So, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want to join me on any one of these, leave a comment in the comment section. Hit me up on Twitter. Twitter's in the description of this video and of every video. And uh, that's gonna wrap it up. We are gonna win all three games, so I might start a wagering with this, actually. Uh, if you guys are still watching, I might start uh, wagering, like, I don't know. Um, what could I wager? Hmm. Not sure. We could do uh, like one US dollar, two US dollars, four, eight, sixteen. I don't know. I, I kind of be down for that. Do a best of three every time. No, thank you. My opponent says uh, thanks. Thank you. There we go. And uh, so, thank you so much to uh, Sacred Gallade for joining us on this episode of Sub Battles. Again, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Ciao.